as uh, someone as a little girl who would wear her hair in buns. Oh, did you? Oh, my Pictures, goodness. Please. I love Princess Leia, so I'm glad I got to cover this today. It is a posthumous honor for the late Carrie Fisher, who famously played Princess Leia in Star Wars. Today, her daughter, Billy Lord, accepted the star on her mother's behalf. I've gone from little girl unwilling to even watch Star Wars to obsessive Star Wars fan. If you haven't noticed, I'm literally wearing a Princess Leia dress. <laughs> Take a look at her Princess Leia dress as she sprinkled some of her mom's glitter onto the star below. Also on hand, R2-D2, C-3PO, and a stormtrooper, Lord, an actor herself, spoke of her mother's legacy, calling her a quadruple threat for her ability to write, act, sing, and dance. You see him there, actor Mark Hamill, who, of course, played Leia's brother, Luke Skywalker, also spoke today about meeting Fisher for the first time when she was just 19 years old. She was... So charming, so funny, so adorable, so wise beyond her years. I saw when I watched The Mandalorian, I have a lightsaber lamp in my living room, X-wing tiles in my bathroom, and I buy every single piece of Leia merch I Leia my eyes on. <laughs> she says, I'm sorry, I just had to. And now, Lord, along with Hamill, city officials, and radio host Ellen Kay, you saw her there, who hosted today's ceremony, posing with a star on Hollywood Boulevard. Carrie Fisher died in 2016. She now has two grandsons from daughter Billy Lord. Lord says, when they are old enough, she will show them Star Wars and introduce them to their iconic grandmother. Now, Lord said she's most proud of her mom for sharing her struggles with mental illness and drug use because it is inspired so many others to speak more openly about their own battles. I'm going to have much more on today's ceremony coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. She was one of a kind. She truly was. Yeah. And, and as Billy said, uh, a quadruple threat.